happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. Hi, Courtney. And I'm Courtney Zavala. <laughs> happy Friday. Happy Friday. You know when you have those days where you just feel like you're flying by the seat of your pants? That's today. That is today. And folks, we are so glad to have you with us. I feel like this morning was such a heartwarming moment for both of us because Absolutely. we were down at NRG Center bright and early, 8.30 a.m. for the Nutcracker Market Spring, Spring Spectacular. Spring Spectacular which is technically a new event. Brand new, first annual. Brand new, but we got to interact with so many of you and it was absolutely lovely. It was so much fun, literally. People at first didn't want to come up and chat with us or they were completely taken back that we were together. Because we look so mean, they didn't want to say hi. Totally, but we just, we totally enjoyed it. And I will tell you, we got there at 8.30 this morning. There was a crowd, there were tailgaters in the parking lot. Yeah. And uh, our were. friend Travis from Man Ready Mercantile, yes. we did pick up a few things. You did too. We're going to go through our shopping bags of things that we bought, but the crowd is there and it's way more manageable than, you know, if, if uh, these are my favorite too, we're going to talk about these lip glosses here in just a minute. Um, if, if the nutcracker market kind of stresses you out, because there's so is, many people, there's so many people. This is such a great way. Y'all I got, I mean, this is life changing. This brow kit that I got life changing it's a stencil for your brows. Mm -hmm. Okay. But for the record though, it may be, we were there super early when it was still quiet. The organizers, to me, it's funny because they were concerned that like we're will nervous. people will show up. Oh yeah, people showed up. Oh, there's Sandra and Caroline, our yes. new friends who watch the show. But folks, if you've been debating whether or not to go down to NRG Center for this event, go down and do go. it. And remember, it's not just about shopping. I wasn't even really planning on shopping, and I did. But remember, all of this money raised, it goes straight to the ballet and their scholarship programs. They do such great work in the community. So you get a little something, get a jump start on your shopping, and you're also helping the community at the Listen, same time. Listen, I wait for this event all year long, and the fact that it's here now in spring, I, I had a hard time leaving. <laughs> yeah, it was really hard. I was like, Courtney, we got to go to work. Okay, let's talk about what you bought because you've got your bag. You want right me to here. go first? Yeah, I want you to go oh, first because okay. I'm really excited about what you bought. So you guys know Travis at Man Ready Mercantile. He's been on the show before. Remember, he's the guy who came and we Absolutely. made candles we like a couple months ago. Yeah. He's great. And remember, he started this business, which is now this hipster, cool, amazing spot to go. He started the business with $100. And again, at the market, you're supporting small businesses. And I am so excited because let's start with this bag. So this <laughs> bag, bag is, is made by Apollos, customized for Houston. But this is part of the Bangladesh project. You know, women around the world uh, don't enjoy the comforts that women here in America do. You know, right. oftentimes they can't get a job or they are deeply suppressed, repressed, oppressed, all of the pressed. Uh, and so I love supporting women businesses. And Travis at Man Ready Mercantile is doing just that by selling these custom Houston grocery store market bags. It's got a long handle and a pocket. This is a great, uh, great thing that he carries. You've seen this hat on our show, the Astros hat. Also a collab, uh, his friend makes these custom ceramic dishes and he fills them with candles. So many great stuff. Orlando has that hat there. Um, I did get him something, but his birthday's next week, so I don't want to talk about what I bought. But um, I'm like looking on, in the booklet here to just give everybody the booth number because I can't remember. Um, Travis is 1013. 1013. Yeah, his yeah. booth. And it's so great. I mean, he has such great stuff. And like, we started the morning with, um, what did you have? Did you have just Prosecco? Oh, I wasn't drinking, my love. No, no, I never would. Little stickers. Those are like three bucks. It's a good deal. I wasn't drinking at all. What are you talking about? Well, I had a Bloody Mary in a can, and it was fantastic. <laughs> I'm okay admitting that. It was awesome. Yeah, it was you great. You got some really great stuff. So I got though. a few little things. Uh, and again, it's you're supporting not just the ballet, but you're also supporting these small businesses, Absolutely. these local businesses. And some folks come, you know, like the tear off napkin lady. She comes in from New Jersey every year. I love her. I did buy some of that stuff too. Here's a bunch of my things that I that I purchased here on the side. You just saw the brow thing that I did, um, and that is beautiful brows. Um, uh, Booth number 228. Yeah. Y'all, this was like $45 or something. It comes with like two different eyeshadows. Isn't it a five year supply, too? Five year supply, two different eyeshadows, all the stencils you need, and like the, um, the brushes and stuff that go with it, it's it's amazing. Like I, I was expecting her to say like two hundred dollars. So that is um, two twenty eight booth number. And I get a lot of questions too about like what lipstick are you wearing? What gloss do you have on? I get that too. I know you do. Just kidding. Listen, we both wear these lip sets. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the reason why I wear them, because you know, we that eat. That's a deep, low, robust laugh you got there. We eat, drink, and some sometimes drink on the show. <laughs> and uh, was it low? Your laugh is different today. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you know why I had that coughing attack earlier? And you so did. I feel a little like tickle. <laughs> Bloody Mary. It was a little spicy, I will say that. <laughs> um, but these lip scents are amazing. She is, um, I found her at the Nutcracker Market, the official Nutcracker Market, and that's Kristen with Pouty Luscious Shop, booth number 125, life-changing. And apparently now they have eyeshadows, which I ended up buying one of those too. And our friend Vicky over at One Hit Mom, I was obsessed with getting one of these HTX hats. They also have the 713. Isn't that amazing? It's cool. I used to wear everything camo in like junior high and high school. It I'm, was all camo. I'm totally no like one I could was see in the you. army. No one no could see me. <laughs> I would slip into class. What do you? I had so lady? many absents that year. Do you remember this lady's name? Teacher never knew. I never was knew there. I was there. Right over here in the camo. Do you, do you remember this lady's name? Yeah, she's been on the show before, uh, and she has this fantastic business. What booth is she? I don't know, but out. we're we'll going to post it on Courtney's Facebook page. We'll, we'll post it there. Listen, this has like all the feels. And I have to tell you, the people that stop us and tell us that they laugh with us on the show and like our crazy antics and everything. I also found out. So I want to get my ear pierced. Like, OK, so I'm totally in. Oh, I got this ear cuff today and I'm really obsessed with like an ear party. It's like a diamond ring, but for it your ears. It has a little diamond right there. So, um, and I'm gonna look up what booth I bought this to, and she's a Houston designer. Um, I ended up buying three. So I bought two different styles. For all of your ears. But just so you know, like I'm obsessed with like piercings. And so I wanna do this like double stack, um, it's what, I think is what it's called. You're gonna kids. get an extra piercing? Right above this one. But while I was buying the ear cuff, I was like, look, I wanna get this, this ear piercing and the double stack, and I don't know where to go and all that. I'm going to a tattoo place. Lori, my best friend and I, we're gonna go. Clearly, I don't think I'm gonna walk out with a tattoo, tattoo but place? I'm definitely gonna go and get this like double stack piercing thing. Is happening. the reason you go to a tattoo place because the needles they use there, it's a ho hollow needle, right? So when they pierce your ear, they're actually taking a like part of your ear out, the hollow part of the needle out. I think that's why you're supposed to go to like a, I see Katie, yeah, is that what you do? Why you do? I just thought because they're like really sanitary. Like also a plastic surgeon will do it or something. Like they'll, you know. They'll pierce your ear? Yeah. I mean, I. At a plastic I, surgeon? I think so. That's what the, somebody told me today. But I'm completely obsessed with this. It's like, only $4,000 for ear piercing. No, it's thing. just, it's a regular piercing. Is this surgeons. like a weird, like maybe I'm like reliving my 16 years. a plastic surgeon to get your ear pierced? 16 year old years. I pierced my ears, I told you this when I was four, yeah. but then I did again as an adult. I don't really ever wear earrings, but sometimes if I want to feel like a punk on the weekend, so, I'll like put on a cool hat and my little put black in some earrings. earrings. So yeah. I've I've reopened these holes on this, um, on my left side, I have four, but I reopened some of them because I'm like, I just, I feel like I need an ear party. No? Yeah. I mean, don't yeah. we all need an right? ear party? I think we all do. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into it. But I feel like now, like I have to tuck to show the ear cuff. Okay. Well, it looks cool. It looks cool. And you and your rocket gear and the uh, the cool vest, guys. Are you feeling the spirit? We hope you are um, sporting your rocket gear. Sunday scare. against the Jazz. You guys don't know what I what like we call them. I can't say it on the air. Yeah, you can. I can. Yeah. You know, like a donut hole, but it's a Jazz. <laughs> the fans they call the Jazz the Jazz blank because yeah. because okay they're rude and i grew up in utah and people there are nice to your face uh but sometimes in the arena <laughs> sometimes they, do you in know the how arena, many times those fans wait we, they're nasty we talked about this so the we nba did. i didn't realize this was a, was a thing if fans are behaving badly they will give you a card Later. and they eject you from the stadium and more utah times, jazz fans more have times this issue a lot. than any other team in the I know, NBA. Isn't that weird? Yeah. One reason why I really love Houston is we have such great sportsmanship in this city. Like even when the Astros play, when the Rockets play, whatever away team is there, we our fans are always so so nice. I do appreciate that about us. It's, I, I it's love not that a way good, across like, the board. Fan base. You know, like when you're sitting next to somebody, especially like when we go home to Chicago and if the Astros are playing now the White Sox. But like you know, I grew up there. 
and we'll wear our Astros gear from head to toe, whatever. We don't care. But when oh, you're sitting around would with be nervous. people, no, it's great. It's great back there. People around us, they, they love it. They talk about all the players. And of course, we're with our kids. But I've done that at, at football games and basketball games. I've never had that, that stigma. And thank you that we don't have that here. But jazz fans... I don't like them. Yeah, I would be worried about be wearing. I don't have to offend anybody here because nobody here in Houston likes the Jazz anyway. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> yes, they do, and they're all going to be messaging you right now. They Check don't. your phone. Your phone's blowing up right now. Their phone's back here, baby. It's all those Jazz fans. So, folks, obviously, it's springtime. Uh, we're not just celebrating our super amazing sports teams here in Houston, but there is so much going on in the city. Uh, galas are going on. Great community events. One of my favorite events happening, and I can't believe it is already time for this again. You know Shipley Donuts, right? I'm so bummed we're going to miss this. Also, should we set the record straight on their name? Yeah. Is it Shipley's or is it Shipley, folks? It's Shipley. Shipley. Without an S. But you may have noticed that the one, is it in the Heights? Ella. The Shipley's on Ella, it has, has an, an S. Apostrophe S, not so only that. So it's Shipley's. Some of them do have an S. But you know the reason why? It was I think a it's mistake. only one. It was a mistake. So when they made the sign for Shipley Donuts, the sign maker accidentally added an S. Yeah. And so people and an call apostrophe. it Shipley's and an apostrophe. You know I hate those. I know. Uh, so anyway, it's the Shipley Donuts Dash happening this gonna, weekend. You're going to be there, right? I'm going to be there. This is my third year. I cannot believe my third year emceeing this event. It all starts at 9 a.m., but folks, get there early. Like, get there around 8.30 because then you can check in and register. We do a little Zumba warm-up typically. I tell some bad donut jokes <laughs> and uh, folks you can there dress aren't up any bad donut jokes let's just say that exactly you know what's a bad donut joke when you're not eating any donuts uh, wh why did the blonde return the donut I don't know because I had a hole in it <laughs> what kind of donut can fly <laughs> a plain donut <laughs> I mean, it's good, oh, right? Oh, my word. So listen, you those, want more of those jokes. Come, oh, thank you. Those thank are you good. So much. Come on out tomorrow morning because, listen, it's a super fun event. There's a costume contest. Dress up as like a donut, sprinkles, Your whatever. Donut. You can win donuts for an entire year. Listen, that's a hot commodity. It, right it certainly is. But folks, remember, this is all for such a fantastic cause. Kids Meals Houston, we love these guys. They deliver so many meals. I think it's like nearly 2,000 meals every single day, weekdays, for preschool age children who are living in poverty. So it's essentially Meals on Wheels, but for these young, young people who maybe don't have access to a nutritious meal. Kids Meals takes care of it. So when you register and you go and you do this donut stash with Shipley, uh, you're f supporting a fantastic cause. I'm really sad that we're going to miss it. We were looking forward to this for AJ yeah, because he's you doing guys a triathlon. Um, but he has <laughs> AJ his... seven and he's doing a triathlon. Well, the kids, it. the citywide kids triathlon yeah. is what he's doing. So it's like a half mile run and whatever. I don't remember whatever the other distances are right now. I don't remember. But we it were going to do that. Shoes. We were going to do that as sort of a training run to get him kind of pumped up for the race. Yeah, um, and it's a simple run too because it's only a two mile run. Yeah, it's super fun. And he had his donut pillow ready to go. He's going to wear it on his head and his donut socks. So, but the reason why, he has his first communion retreat tomorrow. What so happens at that? Day. They, I don't know. They do lots of things. It's about a, first communion. It's a retreat. Oh, how descriptive! <laughs> Sounds very specific. Well, it's for them. It's for all the first. <laughs> It's for the First Communion recipients. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sure. they have a little retreat. That's morning. like a big milestone for you guys, it's right? It's a huge milestone, yes. We didn't, it, like growing up, we didn't have that sort of thing. So it was different. Like you, it, you got baptized at eight, but it was a different thing. Right, right. Yeah, so, you know, it's great. In, in a couple of weeks, my, the entire family will be here. The familia, both sides, Orlando's parents, family, the whole nine. We've alerted the authorities, so don't worry. Your mom's coming? Yeah. And your dad? Yes. Dude, we got to have a little reunion here on the show. I know. The aunts, everybody's coming. The brothers. Very, very yeah, nice. Yeah, so it'll be great. Good. Well, well, I'm sorry we're missing you. I at know. The You're going to have a dash. great time, though. Let's talk about what else is happening, though, uh, this weekend, though, because fill the boot. This is a big this deal. You know, when you pull up to the intersection and the firefighters are there hitting the streets with their boots asking for your spare change. So, so good. And it all kicks off starting tomorrow, the 13th. And Mothers and Ladies of Autism, the night out, it's hosted by T-H-A-A-R. Uh, that's Texas Heroes Advocating Autism Research. Oh. That's tomorrow from 6 to 10. You're 
remember these guys. I, I, I do remember the firefighters. Um, this is happening at West Houston, or Wild West Houston, 6101 Trent. Richmond Avenue. Um, this is a great way uh, to meet some of those guys, get a calendar, make a donation. They do some really great work in our community. Well, yeah, and there's different organizations will be there. We chatted about this a little bit on the show a few days ago with our very own Britta Merwin, who shared the story about her son being yeah. on the autism spectrum. And I think a lot of parents uh, out there feel like maybe they're alone and they're not sure where to turn. So this event happening tomorrow night is great because you're not just going to be meeting with other organizations in the community who can provide resources, but it's a chance for you to meet with other parents or family members uh, who have family members yeah. who are on the spectrum. And, uh, you know, it's a good way to and just feel network good. network and also uh, be with some like-minded people. That's very important. And door prizes and drink specials as well. Oh, even better. Okay, let's chat quickly about that Walmart styling event happening as well. So this is a free style event, and it's super cool. Part of the We Dress America tour happening tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. So essentially the way it works is you get a one-on-one -on -one consultation, totally free. This is Walmart in the Woodlands. And uh, this local stylist, Tori Shillay, I believe is her last name, or Shaylee. There's a link on our website if you want to learn more, but essentially you can schedule an appointment See her one-on-one, -on -one and she'll give you some style tips. Very, very, very cool. All right, folks, let's chat about what's coming up on today's show. If you want to transform to a plant-based diet, but maybe you're not quite ready to make the switch, the Mediterranean diet just might be for you. We'll explain what it is, how you can make it work for your busy lifestyle. And apparently you can still have wine on this diet Oh, as you well. sure can. <laughs> Plus, a lesson in making empanadas ahead of this weekend's Latin festival. We're kicking it up a notch. We've got some seafood, some veggies, so not your traditional Latin. Uh, Latin empanadas, but more Costa Rican. Oh, very nice. Doesn't yes. this music make you want to swing your hips? All right, before we get to all that, though, as we mentioned at the top of the show... <laughs> it's time for a dance break, folks. <laughs> you're so good at that, and you're standing on a box. It's very impressive. Okay, so the first annual Spring Spectacular. Don't want to drop you, babe. It's happening right now. Still going down, down at NRG Center. Listen, drop everything you're doing. Suddenly you're getting sick at work. Head over to NRG Center. Uh. Lauren Kelly is out now for the first annual. This is the preview of what you can expect at the Spring Spectacular. We just dashed on out of there, Lauren. I know you're ready to shop. Wait, where is she? I don't see her. Lauren, are you there? Shopping? We had to show you guys oh. the entire setup here at NRG. It's all weekend long. Derek and Courtney, if you didn't buy the entire NRG Center, they left me here to do some more shopping, and there's so much more to see. We're going to give you a sneak peek of what's to come all weekend long, coming up next in 60 seconds, so don't move. Hey guys, it is Lauren Kelly, and yes, in our G Center the entire weekend long for the Nutcracker Market Spring Spectacular. They let me in to do some shopping. My first stop is with Corinne, and she is here with the Threadfair Children's Boutique. Yes, thank you for having us. Uh, thanks for letting us in. There's so much to shop for, especially for these summertime seasons. We have Mother's Day, we have Easter for the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Lots of items to go through. Yes, don't forget Cinco de Mayo. Oh, how can I, how can I forget about Cinco de Mayo? Yes. So we have hand embroidered dresses from Mexico, um, girl sizes zero to 12 all the way through women's extra large. Um, we have a shop over in the Garden Oaks area of Houston, and then we do have our website online. It's threadfair.com. Um, so anything you see here today um, is available there as well, or after the show, come see us in store. So if they don't see their size they need, they can always find you online? Yes, you can call the store, you can shop online, and we'll try and get it for you if we don't have it. All right, Corinne, let's talk about some of the popular items that are going to be the most sought after this weekend. Can you show us them? Absolutely. So we All right, come on, guys, let's go see. Um, so summer's coming up, so swimwear is going to be a must for your kiddos. Um, we have adorable little swimsuits from Swoon Baby. Um, and then you can't forget the sunscreen, and this is glitter sunscreen. So I'm going to be taking yeah, some of that as well. Even the mommies like to wear this. <laughs> um, now for toys, um, I know you have a niece who's two, so we have lots of toy options. Um, this is my, one of my favorite brands. It's Floss and Rock from the UK, and they make these gorgeous puzzles. Um, great for gifts. Great for birthdays. Uh, books are really great gifts as well. Books as well. We have um, lots for newborn recording all their milestones. Oh my goodness, and, check out the, the hamburger yeah. and the french fries. Are those rattle. socks? Yeah, they're rattle socks. <laughs> 
So yes, I told you I have a one and a half year old niece and this is absolutely right up her alley. And her birthday is coming up. So what are your suggestions clothes wise yes. for me to bring home to her? I'm gonna guess she likes unicorns. Yes. I haven't met a girl who doesn't. So look at her aunt. <laughs> yes. Um, so we have this gorgeous unicorn bubble and this is hot baby which they're actually made in Houston so we love this brand even more because explain the bubble though explain to me yes yeah, so it's um, a bubble it's elasticated at the leg so it kind of balloons out like a bubble that's why in we case they it. have a diaper there's enough yes, room for the diaper great for um, movement for littles so and I know you said she likes purses <gasps> Oh, my, she's obsessed with my purse. Yeah. That is the item. That's going to be it, if not all the things. you got to have a unicorn purse accessory. Corinne, thank you so much. You're We're here welcome. at the Threadfair Children's Boutique in our G Center all weekend long at the Houston Ballet Nutcracker Market Spring Spectacular. Thank you. Derek and Courtney, back to you guys. Oh, Lauren, so much fun. And my tip and Courtney's tip for you, if you need to go to the bar, go to the back bar. Back bar. Bigger drinks. Don't tell anybody my secrets. Well, there <laughs> you go. Have fun days. out there. And all then, right, folks. If you would like to tickets and more information about the Spring Spectacular Nutcracker Market, you can visit the website that is on your screen, nutcrackermarket.com. And I think after the break, we're talking about empanadas, um, right? We are talking about empanadas. We're going to go hop in the kitchen right after the break. Empanadas are a staple dish of Latin America. They are tasty, fried, or baked turnovers with lots of love and flour dough. But no matter how they're made, they are absolutely delicious, folks. And our next guest says they are easy to make at home. You can use any kind of filling you want, from ground beef to seafood. Myra Maravic, owner of Unicori Costa Rica, is here to show us how it's done. Myra, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me here. And today, uh, you have a vegetable version, but you're going to be demoing how to make the beef version. Is that Beef right? Beef and potato. Beef oh, and potato. Nice. Uh -huh. So that's the thing you have to concentrate on the filling. There's all different kinds of fillings for empanadas, yes. correct? Absolutely. You can make it with uh, cheese, beans, just plain, or just filling with any filling what you want to do. Okay. Well, let's get started. What do you have here for the beef filling? Okay. We have the olive oil. Mm hmm and we start with the olive oil. And about how hot is that pan, Myra? It's a medium high. Medium? I'm putting medium high, yeah. Okay, great. And so then some olive oil. Uh, we add the ground beef. Okay. And this yeah. is seasoned or this is? It's, it's, it's just a regular ground beef. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and um, I'm, I made my own I ground the, um, ground beef. I don't, oh, nice. I don't bite it uh, like ground beef like that. So that's Very what nice. it looks like that. And then, of course, we start to add it the garlic, bell pepper, and onion. I mix it all together and I'm doing so. So then you start to apply over there. So, so, so far it's very basic ingredients, very Basic, flavorful. I like to use a natural, natural ingredient. So go first over there. Then you add, add it does, right? And then you add salt and pepper. Okay. Salt and pepper. Okay. And we're just going to that kind yeah, of Yeah, they're marinated the... over there. Uh, our secret ingredient is Costa Rican salsa lisano. Oh. And that's just for all the most of the feelings what I do it. Wait, Costa Rican salsa? Salsa Lisano. Okay. Salsa Lisano. Where, so where would someone buy that? It's uh, some of the Latin stores here. Oh, there. Boy, that smells good. They have any here. Oh, wow. I mean, the spices that are in there, is that a tomato base? It's more like uh, spices like cilantro and all type of oh. How would you describe it? It's sort of like a spicier um, barbecue sauce almost? almost. Yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah. Like a like cousin a to a barbecue like sauce. Yeah, yeah. So then you add paprika or mm, achote. Yum. This is achote. From achote from Costa Rica too. Open anywhere where you can get and it. And this is also, this is a pepper, right? No. Uh, no, this is a, achote is a tree coming from this. Okay. 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 So it's just the color. And okay. To make it that red color. Uh -huh. And for the last thing, we, when it's medium brown, you add the potato. And this you've already boiled and chopped up and, and ready chop to go. Chop it and everything. Okay. You boil the potato before Chopping. Chopping. Yes. Okay. So then you just let it brown a little bit. And when it's brown, you just add the, uh, the potato. Beautiful. And then let it, let it stay over there. So we shouldn't be worried, too, that there's some liquid there, almost like a stew, because we're yeah, going to drain it's, it out. But that's where the flavor comes from. When you, yeah, when you make it this way, you make it like picadillo. Oh, yes. It says like that. But like I said before, you can use it any type of filling, mm -hmm. starting with cheese. 
beans, anyway. And even okay. sweeter fillings. I mean, some people use not just like chorizo and the meats and the vegetables, but they also use guava as an empanada. That's filling? for the sweet ones. So you sweet. can make a sweet empanada. No, with this one because this is a corn corn flour. The the dough I made it is with the corn flour. Got it. So the so dough would be a little bit different if you're going to make a salty, sweet version. Yeah. Sweet is more like um, flour. Okay. Uh, flo flo yeah, the flour to different. Dough. And then I want to teach you guys how to make it. Okay. I use the tortilla maker. Right. And I use the plastic. So it doesn't stick, right? It doesn't stick. Okay, so you so place I a want, little nice. I want to you help me with that. Okay. And not too hard, but make it like tortilla. And right? This is what do you call it? Kamal? You, what do you call this? This is no. a tortilla maker. Okay. Yeah. And, oh, uh -huh. whoa. Uh -huh. So that is if impressive. I'm gonna, yeah, if I'm going to make a tortilla, it's going to be like that. But then we have the filling, what oh. I already made Magic it here. Magic of TV. TV. <laughs> okay. So then you fill in. And while Courtney is uh, adding the filling, we do want to mention some of the details about the Houston Latin Fest, which is happening. This is the seventh annual Latin Fest. And if you like music and if you like great food, it's a great place uh, to head over to this weekend. It's happening on Sunday. There's the info on your screen right there, there starting at 1 p.m. right there at Jones Plaza. Tickets are just 10 bucks, and we do have more information on our website at mm -hmm. HoustonLife.tv. Look at that, I made one. I think she's gonna fry it up there uh -huh. in the oil for there us, but yeah. in the meantime. Here's the finished product yes, over here. Absolutely. Myra, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for, thank you for having me here. And, and we do have sure. the um, mm. complete recipe on the food section of our website, so you can have a beautiful empanada. This is the seafood one. Delicious. Oh my goodness. The seafood and the vegetarian. Mm. And it is packed more. with flavor. Oh my gosh, Myra, so thank good. you so much. Thank you, and. Please come to visit us on the Houston Festival. Mm -hmm. Looking for the Costa Rican cuisine. We go have Costa empanadas cuisine. and a lot of more delicious okay. from Costa Rica. Beautiful. Sounds great, Myra. Great to see you. And still ahead on Houston Thank Life, it much. is our pet of the week. Oh, so cute. More info on how you can take home this little cutie, not Julie, the dog, right after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. Texas Pet of the Week is brought to you by the Houston SPCA, but first, a successful adoption story. Now, Jackie is a Desert Storm Combat veteran diagnosed with PTSD, and he recently adopted a dog named Texas from the Houston SPCA. Jackie says Texas has uh, such a blessing with, that they've been um, to dog-friendly restaurants, mm. a baseball game, and love taking drives together. Oh. He says Big Tex also loves this. The sunroof. Well, duh. Fresh I mean, air. who doesn't? Um, Jackie has never taken care of a dog before, but he loves every minute spent with Texas. And he says their bond is beyond words. Jackie remembers lying on the floor next to Texas at the Houston SPCA in tears, thinking how great he could be for him. And Texas was right next to the gate, reassuring him that he could do the job. Jackie says, quote, he's my man. I love him and he will help me through all of my invisible wounds that others cannot see. I have to say that so story nice. is really grabbing me at the heart. I love that that sh story was shared. It makes a huge difference too for, it really for our does. vets with PTSD. Absolutely. What a great family reunion that we could celebrate today. Joining us now in studio, we have Tinkerbell along with Julie Kenstall with the Houston SBCA. Um, Julie, it's always great to see you, but I'm sorry, Tinkerbell has the cutest <laughs> underbite I've ever seen in my life. Oh, Tinkerbell <laughs> is stealing the show. She is. Look at that underbite, y'all. It's so cute. And as sweet as can be. I mean, sweeter than a little muffin. I mean, just the demeanor and she loves, loves people which is really, really great. And, and she's yeah. still a puppy, really, right? Nine she months? She is, just like, yeah, under under a year old. Uh, owner surrender. The owner just said that they didn't have time. So <laughs> She's like burrowing we right did, your We lines. did have to uh, cut, cut her hair a little bit, but she, I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous brown and cream. And she's a Shih Tzu, so Shih she Tzu will mix. have a little bit like of that, you know, the mohawk, she kind of will. the Tex hair that we she, yes, like to play with. She will, and she walks pretty good on a leash. Oh, so, that's good. Yeah, we, we've been hanging out a little bit this morning mm -hmm. and a little bit of part of the afternoon and um, good personality. She's she just precious. wants to hang. So if you're like, you know, very, very active and want to go run 10 miles in the mountains, probably not. Right. But um, yeah. But if you want to hang and watch some Netflix, probably a good snuggler. Yeah, so it's like a lap dog scenario, perhaps. Travels really well. Travels in the crate in the car. Fantastic. 
will just hop right in the crate. So there may have been some of that with previously with the owner. So she seems like she has a really cool little little temperament. I love and her I like, color too. Her color is great. She's got kind of an atypical look, but uh, so much love to give. And she's ready to go home. She is ready to go. Microchipped. Um, yes, all ready to go. So this is the weekend. So if you're looking for a pet. Come see us on our new campus for all animals. I know it is a beautiful campus. Very, very nice. Julie, it's great to see you. Nice I'll to see you. I'll see you at the SPCA Gala in a couple weeks. Yes, from we're now. looking forward to it. And in the meantime, if you all are interested to learn more about pet adoptions, you can always check out the Houston SPCA's website. Very easy to remember, HoustonSPCA.org. And little Tinkerbell, good luck. Good luck. You're gonna have a good story, <laughs> I can feel it. Up next, we are checking back in with Lauren Kelly at what to expect at the first ever Spring Spectacular Nutcracker Market. Lots of shopping happening over oh. there. <laughs> <laughs>this around town event is brought to you by Mopar Express Lane NHRA Spring Nationals presented by Pennzoil at Houston Raceway Park. As the temperature heats up, so does the excitement at the NHRA's best top fuel and funny car competitors battling happening all weekend long. NHRA is the world's fastest Motorsports. Oh my gosh, it looks like so much fun. And every ticket is a pit pass giving fans access to the drivers and crew and free driver autographs. Tickets are available at HoustonRaceway.com or by calling 281-383-7223. Get on out there. Don't miss out, folks. We we'll will be right back. Right back. Yeah. Okay, we've got some baseball to play this weekend, so I can't have the rain. And you know what? I'll take a slight chance of rain over a 100% chance of rain any single day. Absolutely. Okay, y'all, let's check back in with Houston Live correspondent Lauren Kelly, who's got the tough assignment of braving the crowds out there at the Spring Spectacular. We have FOMO. We just left there, but we still wish we were there. <laughs> we'll be going back after We're going this. back. I'm I'm just really glad you left me some gifts to shop around for, Derek and Courtney. I'm here at 31 Gifts. This is Lisa. She's the owner with me. And this has been one of the hottest stops inside NRG today. So first of all, tell us how customers can find you guys. We are in booth 1510 here at the NRG Stadium. It has been a packed house here. It has been so much fun. The crowds have been nonstop. It's just a fabulous event. All right, and you've got a mission behind your name, right? We do. 31 is actually inspired by Proverbs 31, which is all about the virtuous woman. And what do you see all around this market? Women, they're out celebrating, encouraging, and hopefully rewarding themselves with some nice oh, yeah. little gifts this season. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about your hot seller for today. I am so excited because llamas are the in thing this season. So we have had so much fun talking with llama lovers and mama llamas about <laughs> llama lovers. <laughs> llama lovers. They have just enjoyed everything from little caddies to zipper pouches, our large utility tote, everything in between. There are definitely some llama lovers here this afternoon. So Lisa, you also have a small but mighty item. Let's get Jessica over here. Yes. Show off what we have in this little tiny pouch. So I'm super excited. So we have matching coordinates snackers and then check this out it's a little fold away tote so it looks cute right everybody yes. loves mermaids but wait do y'all wait for this so when you unzip this watch this so you actually pull out the bag <gasps> itself so you know there's a lot of places when you go shopping and bring your own bag you get a discount did you know oh, that yes and that so fits in your purse you can go in your purse you can have it the kids love and it you had it on your wrist too so cute and I actually a lot of people were buying them they said they travel a lot and this doesn't take up any space in your luggage and you have bags when you get to your destination right. so it's been perfect so I'm gonna ask you guys to do a little challenge for me who can put those back together faster are we ready I'm kind of competitive so <laughs> I don't know okay. Lisa oh, Jessica here oh okay in three two one here we go oh she's like serious oh she's here. like really oh, into damn, it girl. <laughs> Derek and Courtney, uh, uh, who's going to be? Oh, Jessica! <laughs> it's the Houston Ballet Nutcracker Market Spring Spectacular, and we are live with Houston Live at NRG Center all day long. Back you know to you guys. We didn't even see that booth when we Lauren, were there. Yeah, great that job. is great. And it's cool because at the market you find all kinds of cool and unusual and unexpected items like the ones we just saw. Absolutely. And, of course, all the ones we talked about at the top of the show. Hello. So much fun. Okay, after the break, go plant-based without giving up 
wine. We are diving into the Mediterranean diet. That's yeah. coming up next. I'm hooked already. Same. I'm in. Be right back. The Mediterranean diet is a heart-healthy eating plan based on recipes of Mediterranean-style cooking, but what exactly should we be eating and what should we avoid? Our next guest is breaking it all down with a day's worth of meals. Registered dietitian Pan Fullenweider with The Clever Kitchen joins us now with a beautiful spread. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, Happy so the Mediterranean here. diet is basically healthy fats, Lots of veggies, right? Right. So what we like to say, it's primarily plant-based, but not exclusively, because you can still have small amounts of meats in your diet, and we're going to look at that tonight. But um, so we, but the core of your diet is fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, beans. So you're thinking, how can I fill my plate with half of our plate to be fruits and vegetables? Well, plus, we'd all like skin like yours, Pam. Uh, <laughs> so if we can look like you after eating yes. this diet, sign, sign me, up. me up. Well, you're very kind, but it makes we're you feel good. Kind. <laughs> well, it makes you feel good. That's what I love about it. Makes the diet. you feel good and it's light good. on your feet. And today right. you've brought options for breakfast, lunch, dinner, even a little bit of dessert. And you're saying that wine is okay in this Absolutely. Diet as well. So we know uh, when we take a look at the Mediterranean components, wine or alcohol is one part of those components. And so for men, it's two drinks per day. And for women, it's one drink per day. Of wine. Of wine. Yes. So, but when we talk about the Mediterranean diet and its components, you have to do all of its components to reap the benefits. So why we like to follow the Mediterranean diet is that it reduces your risk of death by any by all disease by 30 percent incredible so, I mean yeah if you think about that for a second what you choose to eat and the amount you choose can reduce disease in your body so that's what we like to call the power of food and so this is all backed by incredible sound science so that's why it's evidence-based that's why we like the Don't Mediterranean you teach your diet class about this I do it's called outsmarting disease in the Mediterranean diet it's fantastic. You can look on the Clever Kitchen and see my schedule. That Wonderful. Awesome. Okay, let's start with breakfast because I actually just made a few of these um, earlier this week. I shared them with you, but yeah. this is a love that. recipe. These are so easy. Great. Yes, yeah. they're wonderful. I think everybody's looking for something quick and easy. You can add any vegetable you have on your in your refrigerator. This has red peppers. Please try it. Red peppers, well, spinach, okay. and cheddar cheese. I sometimes use a lean ground turkey sausage mm -hmm. and spinach, you know, for your kids if they like it. Awesome. Put it in your refrigerator for a week, freezer for a month. Mm -hmm. Just pop them out. And you make them in a muffin tin, right? Muffin right. Tin. And all These you are eggs, guys. Yes, so lean good. protein. My kids love them too. And all you need is a piece of toast and a piece of fruit, and you're complete. I'd have it as a snack. Beautiful. Maybe for lunch or dinner with a salad. Um, and so here we go. Salad, this looks so fantastic, just the presentation, but the greens in here, this is a blueberry kale farro salad. Mm. Right. And so what you're looking again, like, what does my plate look like? We're trying to fill our plate half full of fruits and vegetables. This is what I call a Mediterranean power bowl. So okay. you have whole grains with the farro, you have fruit with the blueberries, veggies with the mm. kale, Snap Delicious. peas, pecans, nuts, all those things that make it a Mediterranean diet. So we love that. And then we're using olive oil for our heart healthy Mediterranean fat. I love tricking my brain. I'm a crunch. So the yes. fact that you added in the snap peas in there makes me well, happy. Who doesn't love crunchy, salty, sweet, right? Yeah. I love that. That's what you get in this salad. So mm. we love this. It's just wonderful. And so Delicious. that's what you want to think of when you're having lunch or dinner. How can I, what do I, bowls are great. Great topic. I Great love all choice. the colors here too. Yeah, exactly. And let's talk about dinner because you've got some, yes. meatballs, some turkey meatballs. Again, going against right. this idea that you can't have much on this diet. Right. And so when we look at the Mediterranean diet, again, primarily plant based, but not exclusively, small amounts of meat are allowed. And when we say meat, we mean turkey, chicken, uh, fish has its own special place, but we want it to be leaner and we want smaller amounts. So we're recommending about three to four ounces per day of okay. lean meats. That's a significant difference. This is yeah. where beans come into play, legumes, all those great things, having meatless meals. That's what we'd like you to start and thinking about. And are we about. talking about the size of our palm, right? Right. So serving? three ounces is about the size of the palm of your hands, a deck of cards, something like that. Meat okay. should not be the biggest thing on your plate. Exactly. That's what we're doing. So today I'm going to have you all help me make these yummy turkey meatballs. I don't Wonderful. know. And then we're going to have, we're going to serve it with zoodles today, which we love. There's a thought Chalk could help me make. Zucchini so, noodles. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, the lean turkey, you know, sometimes gets a little dry, so that's why we're adding a little bit of the sun-dried tomato okay. and feta. So okay. you can pour all these things in. We have feta, shallots and garlic are yummy, basil. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. 
And then we're using uh, a little bit, all that pepper you can put oh, in put there. Oh, put it all in? The whole thing. Yes, wow. yes. Okay. And so what you're doing is you're going to mix that all together. I love using a fork to fluff it up. Oh, help you, it. Do? you can Well, okay. you can do either way, with this your is, hands or whatever. I guess because I, I don't have a lot of time when I'm Let's do it, it. yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we try and make um, our turkey meatballs about the size of a golf ball. Now, Pam, so we only have about a, a minute left. So oh, let's gosh. Cruise through. Let's uh, do. I know, TV time goes by It so is, quickly. it's fast. So we're going to serve it today. We made a cherry tomato tomato uh, sauce. So instead of, you could put it with a marinara, but we're using cherry tomatoes. And all you're doing is this, sauteing it both together for a little bit and trying it. So we have those for y'all to try right over there if you'd like. Perfect. And then also another little glass of wine. So we have our alcohol with meals. Um, we always say, if you do not drink, do not start because of this diet. And then... <laughs> <laughs> a little pre -cleaning We don't right have that there. problem. That's exactly. And um, when you're using, you're thinking about the components, mm. you have to incorporate all the components of the diet. So you can't just cherry pick what mm -hmm. you'd like to follow. So you can't just have your glass of red wine. But we'd like you to do everything. This Very is nice. packed with flavor. Yes. We're out of time, but a little yes. chocolate for dessert. We'll have a little Always chocolate and great. fig bite. Yep, we'll try it. Pam thank you. Water, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Great to Wonderful. see you. All right. If you'd like to connect with Pam or for the recipes we've shown you on the show today, just visit the food section on HoustonLife.tv. And after the break, our last check-in with Houston Life correspondent Lauren Kelly at Spring Spectacular. We'll be right back. This is delicious. Okay, Nutcracker Market, Spring Spectacular. Forget about only shopping in the winter. It's now. You're going to get out here down to NRG Center because there's so much shopping all weekend long. I am here with Stephanie and Brian. They are brother and sister. They're, I'm very impressed that brother and sisters get along like you, Di. You guys. We do most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're siblings, but and we do it with our mother, too, who's not here. But okay. it's a family thing. Junk Queen and Kings yes. is the name. What all can we find inside the store? Um, well, we've got tons of repurposed stuff. We use a lot of old um, things and turn it into new, like um, our wind chimes. Uh, we oh, do the tennis racket. Yes, the really great tennis rackets. We've been selling tons of those this show. Um, we do repurposed. We did the little plates for... Um, you know, little kitchen sayings. Stephanie, are, are some of these things handmade? Uh, most of that that I just went over is all handmade. We all, ha Brian, my mom, and I handmade. You know what? That's what I really missed in my family, and I did not get the creative gene pool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're we're very crafty and creative. It so shows. It shows. Fine. Those are really cute items. What's been selling the most so far? Uh, we've sold tons of the tennis rackets. We've sold the wind chimes. Um, we also do little repurposed uh, vintage shirts that have done really well. So. I see this fishing this fishing yes. line. That's adorable. Yes. Is that kind of like a wind chime as well? Yes, those are all wind chimes. So it's the minnow bucket and the old lures and. Now, uh, tell me, you guys don't have a store, but we can find you online. You can find us online for now, yes. Okay, what's your website? Um, it is www.junkqueensandkings.com. Okay, like I said, that's my nickname, so I know where to find I that. I love it. We love you. <laughs> Soul the uh, spirit Thank animals. You Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for having us out there. And if you want to head on down to NRG Center this weekend, it's happening all weekend long. The Nutcracker Market Spring Spectacular. Tickets are only $15 here at the box office or Houston Randall's. Also, you can find them. There's over 100 160 stores out here. There is something for everybody. There's some things for everybody. So make your way on down to the Nutcracker Market Spring Spectacular. I'm going to go do some shopping now. Drop I the got mic, my girl. shopping shoes on. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. these seasons. Drop oh, the mic this is and my, go this shop. Is my time. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun out there, Lauren. It is such a good time. I'm so glad we went. We this had morning. so much fun meeting everybody too and talking to our viewers and uh, just shop until we drop. We good had so time much had fun. by all. A reminder, by the way, the Spring Spectacular is happening all weekend long. For tickets and more information, you can head on over to nutcrackermarket.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Where's my wine? I don't know where to go. Hey guys, coming up on Monday's Houston Life Fashion is getting brighter from accessories to shoes, tips on how to glow oh. in this season's hottest trend. Uh, to glow, like that's not an understatement. Uh -huh, is it? Neon, neon, baby. And if you want to take your breakfast menu up a notch from brioche to berries, a sweet twist on a traditional French toast recipe. Cheers to Frye. Cheers to Frye. And folks, don't forget, head on out to that spring spectacular nutcracker market. There the hours are on your screen. And uh, don't be afraid by the crowds. There are a lot of people. Listen, it's manageable. manageable. It really is. Go on out there. Have yourself some... 
some fun. We've got our goods. We talked about it today on the show. You know what? We'll do a little Facebook recap. What do you think? Don't you like my little uh, market bag? I love bag? it. I wish I would have gotten that. Man Ready Mercantile. Man Ready. Go visit them. Booth 1013. I dropped my bag. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Just throw it on the floor.